Hey everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be sewing up a face mask. Um, it's hard to find the other face mask online in the stores anywhere. So I know there's a lot of videos already out there about how to do face masks, but I wanted to do one. Um, I'm going to be sewing these up for my family and close friends and even um, donate some to like doctors off my doctor's office if they're willing to take them so um, it's a simple face mask um, I actually drew up my template for the face mask but um, I know there is um, Mimi G has one where she, you can download the template for the face mask so yeah but this is a face mask and then it also has an inside and I did mine with an interior pocket so if you want to put a filter on the inside of it you can so let's get started on doing this so the first thing is I have my pattern pieces. I have my pattern pieces. So I have one for the interior fabric where you're going to cut two out of fabric and two out of inner facing. And then the other one is for the outer part of the mask. And it's also going to be two of the fabric and two of the inner facing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. I'm going to show you one that I did. I'm going to cut this one out. Let me zoom out some. So you basically just place it on the fabric. It's folded in half. So I have two. Because this one is not directional so it doesn't matter and I'm going to show you on the next one when I cut that out how to do it if you have directional fabric and pan out some more so and then just place it on there and you're going to cut it out and then on the next one when you have directional fabric like this one is directional see how the leaves are going only in one particular direction so what you would do in that case when you have directional fabric you're going to put it on the fabric cut one out and then you flip it and then cut the next one out so both pieces will be going in the same direction so I'll be back once I cut out my um, fabric okay so I'm back I have um, my fabric cut out this is the interior it's already cut out and then I also have the interfacing cut out on and I did that also with the exterior fabric and I attached the interfacing and I went ahead and stitched around that curve right there and then I trimmed the seam down with pink and shears so for the interior you're going to do the same thing you're going to place the interfacing on the wrong side of the fabric and you want to make sure that the bumpy side of the interfacing is touching the wrong side of the fabric and you make sure that's lined up properly so that it looks like that do the same thing for the other piece And then you take your iron and attach the interfacing to your fabric. So you just 
follow the instructions that comes with your interfacing on how to attach it to the fabric and basically you're just going to put your iron down on the right side of the fabric and let it stay on there in, that, in place for whatever amount of time it told you on the instructions and then you do the same thing for the other piece And then once it's adhered, you're going to put right sides together. And like I said, you're going to go to the sewing machine. You're going to stitch on the curved end. Go back and, back and forth on the beginning and the end. And then trim the seam down with pinking shears. Or you can put nips into it. And I'll be right back after I finish sewing it. Alright, so I did sew it there and I used a one fourth of an inch seam allowance. And now, like I said, I'm going to take my pinking shears and trim the seam allowance. Alright, so the next step is. Your interior fabric, you're going to take the straight edge on the sides over here, fold it once, uh, approximately a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Or actually one eighth of a seam allowance is up to you. And press. And then you're going to fold it again so that the raw edges is encased within the seam. And you're going to do that for the other side also. So see. Once again, fold it over. Press. And then fold it over again to encase the raw edge and then press. Oh, sorry about the fogginess. And then you're going to go to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch close to that edge right along there. And I'll be right back. Alright, so there it is. It's stitched on the edge. So nice and neat. No raw edges are shown. The next thing you're going to do is put the outer fabric and the inner fabric right sides together. Lining up these seams. And then you can use clips. Let me grab my clips or pins. So you're going to clip it in place or pin it in place. Make sure the seam, raw edges is lined up. Also do the same thing on the bottom. Lining up the seam, middle seams first. Clip in place. And 
and then what you're going to do is on your sewing machine stitch across there back going back and forth on the starting and the end and then also do the same thing back stitch here stitch along the top to the end back stitch using a one fourth of an inch seam allowance alright so as you can see I stitched around along the top and along the bottom next is going to be turning it to the right side and then you just want to make sure round out your seams and then I also take this and I kind of like make sure I get that point top part out part good so next is taking fold that over where the seams are and then I'm going to iron Do the same thing at the top, fold it over and press. Same thing on the other side, fold it over and press. And then I also press the rest of it, making sure those seams is good. You can roll between your fingers to make sure that's good. Also along the top, And now that's nice and pressed. I'm going to take the raw edge on here, fold it over, and press. And then fold again to enclose the raw edges inside of the seam but do not go over the interior fabric you want to make sure and leave space a little bit of space right there 
and press. So you see how there's still that sp little space for the pocket. And you're going to repeat it on the other side. And then I take my elastic. So with my elastic, it's one long piece. I cut it to 25 inches. This is just one version of how you can do the elastic in there. This version allows you to put the elastic over your head as oh, instead of behind your ears. So what I do is I put the elastic in here like so and then I'm going to go to the sewing machine and stitch along there and then the next side is going to go in this way stitch along that side and then I'm going to attach the elastic together sew it in go back and forth several times to hold it in place and then I'm going to move this part that's sewn together the elastic in here and tack it in place in here so it doesn't move and I'll be right back once that's done alright so I'm back I stitched the elastic right there back and forth a couple of times to reinforce it and What's next is I'm going to slide that within the seam, the side seam here, and then right in here, that's where it's attached. I'm going to tack it in place right there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is top stitch along the edge. and then top stitch along the bottom and then I'll be back with that okay so um, this is just another option for the elastic so for this version I'm going to be using these little elastics and they're similar to the ones that come on the mask this one is cut to six inches long and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in here go down enough and then tack on the sewing machine just stitch right there to hold it in place oh, I was out of frame sorry so what I'm going to do is place it in here go down far enough and then go to the sewing machine and tack get in place go back and forth a couple of times and then do the same thing on this side place it in there go down enough and then stitch it in place and then I'll be right back so you can see and do that on both sides alright and so this is what it's gonna look like once it's finished being tacked in place and you can easily put over the ears. All right, and there you have the completed face mask. It's top stitched. So like this is the one way where it goes over your head and then the other way where the elastic goes behind your ears. So, 
there you go please like comment share and subscribe and i also have this one so and like i said it does have the interior pocket where you can put a filter on the inside thank you for watching and have a blessed day